All right, it's prime time for grilling season. Why not make your dinner on the grill tonight? I love it when we can cook out on the grill. We have the perfect recipe for you in today's CI Kitchen with our U of I student chef Rachel Nozzle showing us how to spice up plain, boring grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. <laughs> but you have to add something to it, right? <laughs> exactly. So today we're making grilled bruschetta chicken. Okay. And normally bruschetta is on a crispy cracker or a thin slice of bread, but today yeah. we're just going to put the tomato topping on the chicken. And it's really fun, fresh, great for springtime. Okay. Simple. Sign yes. me up. Very so simple. You've already got your chicken that looks like charbroiled and grilled and ready to go. Yes. So I've already marinated it in two tablespoons of this sun dried tomato vinaigrette. Uh, I marinated that for 10 minutes and then I seared it off on the grill and then I'm going to bake it for about 10 minutes and that's a really good way just to get it all at the same temperature and so you don't have some dry pieces and some really moist pieces. So okay. it's really good to just finish or start it on the grill and then just finish it in the oven. Are those real char marks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are yeah, not painted on. They painted them on, yeah, but okay, those are real. Oh my. Exactly. I was going to say, it does still look a little raw, so I was glad that you yes. said that you're going to bake these because I was getting a little bit nervous about <laughs> testing these. But I love that the marinade is only 10 minutes because most times I think, yes. oh, has the marinade for so long, forget right. that, scrap it for another night. Mm -hmm. But 10 minutes, you can do that. Right, exactly. And they're okay. four ounce pieces of chicken, so the marinade, yeah, exactly. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't okay. have to sit forever. Okay, so are we going to make the bruschetta right now? Yes. When so are we going to get started? First, Another trick I want to show you is, so this cutting board doesn't slide around, I have a towel, a damp oh. towel underneath. All right. Nice. Yeah, and that'll help it not slide. Did y'all see that? Because I feel like that's pretty brilliant. Or maybe <laughs> it's just because I haven't cooked enough. Peek-a-boo. Peek no, she's brilliant. <laughs> you, are, you are brilliant, Rachel. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so put that on. Yeah, especially when you're going to have to put some Yeah, exactly. Into it, right? So first what we're going to do is dice up this tomato. And just kind of slice it. I love that knife, too. Yes, you want to use a serrated knife with tomatoes, because if you use a chef knife like this, it'll just mash the tomatoes, and you'll end up with bruised tomatoes. Oh. Okay. Are we trying to keep the seeds? and? Yes, you just okay. want to keep everything. And just dice it up into nice bite-sized pieces. You make that look so easy. I <laughs> struggle cutting things. I've dice. had a lot of practice. <laughs> if I can't just toss it into my food processor, I'm like, uh. <laughs> it's just grind it all up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> she makes a killer salsa. Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up. Okay. Yeah, all I'll right. take that off your hands. Perfect. So that is one Roma tomato. And that's and, a good tomato. Yes. And that one was pretty big. If they're smaller at your grocery store, you can go ahead and use two. Okay. And then I have about half a cup of mozzarella cheese. That goes in as well. And then we're going to chop up a fourth a cup of basil. You fresh so, basil. Yeah, and you get so much. I feel like yes. I, don't, I don't feel ripped off when I get basil <laughs> as a spice when mm -hmm. I buy it in, in bulk at the store. Oh, right. That's so how much you do that. Yes, yeah, so you just kind of twist off because you don't really want these stems right here. Ooh, you can smell that yeah, immediately. It's so good. And the easiest way to chop up basil is just kind of roll it up into a little ball. And then see how easy that slices up? It's so. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much easier than just trying to lay it all out, and we're going to want about a fourth of a cup of this. So it doesn't matter which way you roll it, just as long as it gets nope, rolled. No, just all in one big pile. That's pretty good. And yeah. then do you save any for decoration? You could. It's up to you. If you have enough basil, then Because it is about the presentation. Well. <laughs> yes, <Right>. exactly. <laughs> for the five seconds it yes. sits on your plate before exactly. you eat it. That's, that's right. That's and right. then it gets stuck in your teeth, the other five. <laughs> that's right. Okay. <laughs> so you're, we're going to let you keep chopping. We just have to mix this up? Yes. And then you add another two tablespoons of the same dressing that you used to marinate the chicken breast into the bruschetta mixture. Okay. We're going to let you keep going. we got to bake All this right. up. We've got Rachel's recipe um, ready to go on CILiving.tv in case you're wanting to make this one spring night this week. Yum. Although I'm not sure whether it's going to be um, perfect for <laughs> grilling this week. But hey, to, it, to, my mind, to my mind, do it anywhere, anytime. There you go. In, the win in winter, I was Pull out the out. George Foreman. Oh, another good idea. There it's go. okay to use the George, right, Rachel? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, ahead, it's a live 